What up, Hard Squad, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's video is all about the values of your Pokemon cards. By far, the absolute number one question that I get from y'all is, how much are my Pokemon cards worth? And today, I will be showing you not only uh, the values of some of your Pokemon cards, but most importantly, I'm going to tell you, yes, you, how you can go right after this video and find out if your Pokemon cards are worth some money. And I'm talking about some good moolah here. There are lots of cards out there that are worth thousands of dollars. Now, there are going to be so many variables, so many factors going into the condition in the price of a certain Pokemon card. And it goes all the way back to vintage cards. And I'll also be talking about new cards as well. And I'll be showing you different places that you can actually go search. And hopefully after this video, you will be a professional at finding out values. So I essentially uh, can set you free, young Padawan, in your quest of finding out values and prices. And I tell you what, there are so many of my friends that have just been sitting on gold mines of vintage Pokemon cards. Like, seriously. But enough is enough. We are going to get started today. And I'm going to show you the top three places that I personally use myself to search for some cards. And uh, let's go right into the first place. Now, uh, on your screen, you are seeing eBay. And uh, there's a trick about using eBay, and it's that it's actually my, like, it's, it's like a combination of the following websites is what I do. So, for instance, you want to see how much a your Charizard holographic card is worth. So you want to simply type in Charizard base set uh, hollow. And that's all you can type. You can also look on the bottom right of the card and write the exact card number, which I believe is 4 out of 102. And boom. So there's a big trickery here because I know a lot of people go on and they're like, my card is worth $2,000 because there it is right there. But you fail to actually look at several different factors like one, what condition is your card in? And I'm talking about you got to be very particular here, guys. You take a look at your card on the back of the card. If there is any whitening on the back of the card, if there is any scratches, on the shiny part of the holofoil of the card. If the card, right over here, hopefully it's on screen, this little yellow area of the card, you have to check out, it's called centering, and see how like exactly centered and congruent are all the yellow parts of the borders on the front, especially on the back. Also, is the card graded? Like this card right here, it is a PSA 8 near mint to mint Charizard. It looks like it's a shadowless one, which I'll talk about more later. And this is just the buy it now price, or you can submit a best offer for that. There's also, there's actually, there's auctions that you can search for as well. So uh, for instance, this specific Charizard, you have to make sure what language it's in. It's in Espanol or Spanish. So that's gonna also change the price of a specific card as well. Usually the thing I'll do, I'll type my card in. I won't even look at this stuff. I'll go here on the complete bottom on the show only. And you want to go right over here to completed items and sold items. You can just click on sold items. And boom. There we go. This, when they are lit up like green like this, this will tell you if either a best offer was accepted like this one. That means it is less than this $199 price in what is a Pokemon base set unlimited Charizard PSA 4. So this guy is in absolute terrible shape. I'll go ahead and click on this one. And uh, let's see if I can take a look. Yeah, so here's the back. As you are seeing on screen, look at all that whitening around the blue of the card. It looks like a dog bit into the side of that one. And uh, that's why it came back. A PSA, very good to excellent score. I'm not going to go into the grading scores, but now you know, as we go back to the first page, uh, if you think yours is in similar condition like that, it would get a PSA 4, and uh, you can't put the price, the value, 
as if it was a PS4. That's only if it's actually graded and it comes back a PSA 4. Uh, some people will go like, it's it should be a PSA 8, right? But it's not actually graded a PSA. You just think it's going to be like that. And it may be. But the thing is, you can't list it as a price or the value of it is not that PSA price unless it actually gets in the slab and gets officially graded by PSA or whoever else you go to for grading your cards. And that's why you want to go through. You want to make sure it is... Uh, this one says heavy Charizard base set hollow heavy plate or HP one bid of $65. This is an irregular uh, unlimited Charizard, which uh, I'm trying to see if I can find the uh, I guess I got to click on there. OK, and uh, so you'll take a look. You can already tell like on the sides. Look at that. There's scratches just everywhere on this one. And the back is not good. But you'll notice right here on the right side of it, there is a shadow. That means it's unlimited. So you also want to make sure, is it an unlimited one? Is it a shadowless one? Is it a first edition one? It would have the first edition stamp like yours truly pulled a first edition Charizard in this past weekend's video. Uh, but so there we go. That's basically what you want to do is go to, if you're going to go to eBay, make sure you put the number of the card in, the exact phrase, spelling of it, make sure the actual, everything about it, whether it be the condition to the... Uh, type of card, the set, if it's a promo set. That's why looking at the card number is very paramount. And then what I do is I take an aggregate of if I find my Charizard base at Hollow Heavy Played, I would find other ones that are played as well, making sure they're unlimited. And I would take an aggregate of the prices and just take an average of all of the sold listings for what would be a heavy play. Like this is the same thing right here. Pokemon Charizard base set, uh, minor played card. This one went for $96. Then I, what I would do is I would go on, click on that, and find out the actual condition of the card there. So uh, for, uh, you can do this for any type of card. You can also do it for, let's say, uh, Golden Zacian. And uh, that's not the exact phrase. It would be, it's really a secret rare Zacian. Um, and then this is just going to go right into, if you still have the sold items clicked, It'll actually say like, oh, okay, here they are right here. So this one went up for $52. This one went up for 24 bids for $81. Always be skeptical about the bids. Never just rely on one or two or even like four of them, especially for the newer cards. Um, you can take a look, Zashi and V, mint condition. Most of the cards for Zashian are gonna be in mint since they're newer compared to the older vintage ones. So you don't need to look as much for that unless you really wanna get it graded. Then I highly recommend looking at the pictures. Uh, $63 for that one. Uh, honestly, these feel like they're really, really high priced, which would lead me to the main place where I go to check values of all my cards. And I compare it with the other ones that we'll get to. That is tcgplayer.com. Uh, it's an excellent place, not only to go purchase and buy cards from different vendors, but for instance, you would just go to search for product. You could look up vintage cards, which I will do later. But what I like doing is, what, and what you can actually do, you can just go up to like the newest set, Rebel Clash, and here are all the cards like list it how they are here and it'll actually say like market price of the card um let's say we want okay i love rillaboom so much so i'm clicking on rillaboom right now you're taken to this screen where it says an ear mint hollow foil aggregate is around six dollars and forty cents you got to always look at the shipping price this tells you information about the card there is the aggregate of i guess there it is the aggregate of it uh, 649 never just take this value for on its face like just always click view more prices you're now seeing different shops that uh, I can't vouch for any of them because I've never used any you know gone through any of them I'm sure they're great they have their ratings on all of it 100% out of 817 sales that's a lot 2800 Ooh, what happened to the 0.4% of that one uh, but there you go you can also go on the right over here of uh, condition I want mine to be near mint condition <laughs> And uh, so sometimes TCG player, I notice it does take a long time. Like I don't know why for loading the different prices and stuff. Other times it works really fast, but here we go. It'll say near mint hollow foil in the middle and there are all the prices. So, you know, you can put them in order of price of how you want uh, or just the item. And uh, so this one's, you know, I myself would probably just put $6, maybe $7 if you want to include the shipping price for some of them. 
Uh, but for the most part, you know, the newer cards, the, I always put approximately, which means there's a several dollar difference that there could be, like it would be fine. Uh, this one can go up for as much as like, uh, like seven or eight dollars, eight dollars max on this specific card. Um, they also, what's it called, have full list of Rebel Clash that you can actually just go for. But for the best part, just type in the name of your card that you want. It's going to have, I just put in, no, I don't want card fight. Um, here we go. This is all the Zashi and V cards that it recognizes. Here is the Zashi and V, which yours truly has not pulled yet. <laughs> Leave a like. Hopefully I'll pull it one day. And uh, so this one is just saying the market value median is, uh, whoa, $59.99 on here, but market price is $46. And uh, yeah, so the price of this guy has just, uh, it's gone up. It, it was going down to like $40. Now we're seeing that those eBay auctions are kind of right around it in a way, maybe a little bit high. And there you go, from $50 to $60. So that's why I always first for at least newer cards, I definitely check TCG Player first because you are now seeing an aggregate of the prices. Don't always believe all the prices on here. Some of them go for like super, super high just because. And if you're gonna go for a lower one, always make sure of the value of it, of course. And uh, going, staying on TCG Player, which is, like I said, the best place that to start off with finding prices. Then there's eBay. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to just type in Chazad Base Set. Just so I can do some comparing. So here we have some Charizard Base Set. I don't see a first edition one, so maybe I would have to put first edition one for that. But here we go. This is the exact one we were wanting. Uh, we don't care if it's... We don't care if it's near mint or, you know, lightly played or moderately played. You can go click those over here. There's probably not going to be too many options of the near mint ones, obviously, because it's vintage, but heavily played, minor played. It's going to list them all right here from $60 to $100. There's more pages that's going to have more of them on there. Obviously, click on those to find out. But I want a near mint one. Well, got to make sure. First off, it's the English and the right one. Other one, this one's selling one for $275. It's the only one there. I'd be a little iffy of that. Definitely, if it's in great condition, hey, like maybe PSA 10, fantastic. Uh, but I would definitely then go over back to eBay, find out on eBay the average price for the card. And then, um, yeah, and then kind of go from there. For instance, uh, let's say, let's say, well, yeah, you saw how to do all your new cards. Like, it, it, and it can be from even the Evolution set. I think I would do Evolution's uh, Charizard. This may not have it. Sometimes it does recognize it, but there we go. So now for the name of the set, Evolutions, here is the holographic rare from Charizard. Uh, people have been wanting to, you know, know the price of this one. It's actually decent, uh, 20 to $25 right there uh, for near mint condition of that guy. I believe, I think the reverse was actually like more expensive than that one, but sometimes they actually include the reverse price in the card, so you gotta make sure uh exactly which type like okay sorry that's what i was looking at so near mint reverse hollow foil and then the near mint hollow foil one so that's actually actually pretty interesting the reverses are now not as expensive as the near mint ones interesting which would then bring me back to i would make sure on ebay as well for that before i get into looking at some more of your cards uh, I want to show you another location that I also go check, but if you can, please do hit the thumbs up button, guys, if you're enjoying this video, and be sure to subscribe as well to the channel. Next up, now this is a shop, and they are absolutely legit shop. I've purchased from them several times before, and uh, but for now we're focusing on, and they didn't. This is just a place I use just to cover all my bases to making sure I put the right value up in my videos and whenever I'm, you know, if I'm going to sell or trade stuff. Uh, so for right now, um, let's see, let's just, uh, yeah, for like an older card, I'll go Charizard base set again, just because we're kind of on that right now. So Charizard base set, and this is the one you want to click on for that. There's other versions of it, of course. Now, I usually notice that the Troll and Toad prices are usually higher than the TCG Player ones and especially the eBay ones. It's always so weird. You always want to compare on all three platforms or websites. Um, but it'll have like down here, it'll have the different types of merchants. This one where it says actually Troll and Toad, Troll and Toad, that is how much they're, you know, wanting it. Uh, unlimited, 
lightly played English Pokemon card, $264. Um, and then there's other places that you can purchase it from. And uh, of course, they'll have other related items in this section right there. $325 for unlimited near, uh, near mint English one. You can also, of course, search for newer, newer cards as well. So like that Zashian V, here are all the Zashian Vs. You can also put in the number, especially for your older cards from the older sets. And there it is, the Zashian V gold card. There's only one available from this buying option, at least like five available, but from only one place, Paradise Games, um, $59. It's kind of like in there of what we saw from the previous locations. And uh, so there we go. That's another place that I would use those prices. Go back on TCG Player, of course. And I got a very, very nice, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's just go with Blastoise, hollow. And I want this one to be minty fresh. And so obviously now there are lots of Blastoises from different sets like Team Rocket, I mean, Expedition, and of course the original base set. So that's why you always guys wanna make sure you put in the exact set. Don't spell it wrong or it's not even gonna show up on eBay specifically. Um, so Blastoise Hollow Mint base set. I mean, there's it, you always gotta watch out for these big lots and stuff. Like they're cool, sometimes they're great. Uh, but if you just want the individual card, just go make sure, you know, it's not like one of these things or it's like this. So. Uh, so there we go on uh, that. So I think that's, I th hopefully covered everything in today's video, guys. Uh, if you have any more questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, you see the videos right over there. I think it's that way. Uh, go click on them right now. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.